Hello guys, it's a light to no light test. As you can see, it's dark outside. Um, the only light right now is on my head. Of the, and this is going to be a little video of the Ford. Before it had no lights, and this is with the bud, bud, bug lights installed. I'm fixing to turn my light off. It's off. Bug lights on. Let's put these little turds on. Pretty bright. Um, but that's that. Um, actually, my first night video. Uh, you might be able to see my finger. But cat over there drinking water. Bobo's around right here somewhere. My little sister's Chihuahua. Um, that's a little bit of redneck ingenuity. Took a piece of wire here, zip tie, because you guys know my throttle cable burnt, and that cable's off the Murray. There's the cat that was drinking water. Um. But it actually works pretty good. That's going to be that. Um, I was thinking about putting some buckshot foiler tires on the back of here and Honda rims. But I kind of figured out that's going to be high, uh, a little bit harder because those are 9 inch rims and these are 12s. Dogs are barking probably because I'm out here. But that's that. Pretty, pretty bright lights. This is darn lawnmower. Oh, there's Bobo. Pretty darn good, uh, bright lights. What I was thinking about doing, actually I'm still thinking about it, but it'd be some little bit of work. Running, if I get me a, roll bar made up which I had y'all seen the mock-up and with the lights I think yeah taking those lights sorry about that uh, I accidentally hit a button and it stopped recording but taking those lights and wiring it up and have my roll bar sitting up here and have those lights so instead of those lights hitting up here it'd be up here pointing up towards the house up here Yeah, up there. And right over there is part of the oil bar top. But actually, there's a bunch of grime right in here. I cleaned it up with a rag. Um, drove this thing, I actually drove this thing around today and then run it out of gas. I was picking up limbs around the yard. I got to a burn pile back there. And it started spitting and spurning, so I shut it off. So probably actually, right now, I could probably fire it up. But I'm not going to go into, because, my luck, I'd probably try to fire it up, and it, it wouldn't stop the fire, so then I'd be a liar. So I'm not even going to try. But I was thinking about unbolting this. Which is a seat um, mount. And sending down all this right here. This white. And repainting it white. Because you can see it scratched the living crap. And then putting that back on there. Eventually I'm going to have to sand. The hood again. Primer it again. And probably paint it blue. I was thinking of making it look, look a lot better. Because you can see like right there nothing but rust I'm still going to have to come up with a grill implant and as you can see this side's rusted pretty bad some holes um, but yeah guys there's that and actually real quick 
In the first clip, I was talking about putting uh, buckshot ATV tires on the back with Honda rims. And probably won't be able to see it that great, but I'll show you any guy, guys anyways. Right here. They're on this, or this one's on my Honda 300 right now. The other one's sitting there. I actually got ITPs I could put on there, but they're going on front on the Honda whenever we get it fin fixed. But see, with this, gonna make a hub. I could do that, but I uh, threw out a point that I don't have the accessibility to a shop or something that could drill out a keyway. So if I put the hubs and just the rims and tires, then I'd try to drive and only the axles would move, not, not the rim. Because it's keyed. So he did have a point there. So I'll probably wait. I probably won't do that then. Put ATV tires. Because it's. Because I ain't got nothing to key. Have keyway. But. This is a good little mower. For a little toy. That's bright. Puts a pretty good. Shine on the house. That would be a good mountain point. Wish I could do a night romp. I was actually thinking about my toggle switch kind of messed up down here. Actually about thinking about doing that. But this thing's out of gas. So I might actually do that sometime. If I get some gas or something. Um, but yeah, that's that. Um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, yeah. Um, oh, on a Murray. So, uh, a new starter will be $52. So I'm thinking about giving my dad some money. Because I don't have a debit card or anything. And or a PayPal or eBay account, and just have him order me at starter, and then possibly do a pulley swap on the Murray, and kind of have a stock racing mower, I guess you would say. It'd be all stock, but the pulley, and besides the seat, because the seat's not stock. That was a dump find. Worked out good. But I thought about that because the Ford that I'm sitting on right now would be the mud mower. And I'd kind of want one for a speed mower. Because I live on a road, or I live right off of a road that's paved that I could run up and down. But that's that. If I do a night romp, or yeah, or something right around thing about maybe tail lights have something rigged up where I maybe hit the clutch lights come on or rig up a toggle switch somewhere I can hit when a car's coming or something or have a toggle switch and keep it on while I'm riding around on the roads if I'm not on the road or riding around in a field or something which I've got a field over there that's not ours, but nobody owns it right now. It's for sale. Run right around in it. Like it has the lights off. And then when I go to ride around on the road, turn the toggle switch on and have tail lights. But that's just a little update on the Ford, guys. It's a good looking running rig. Besides my Arkansas engine or redneck engineered throttle cable. So, yeah, guys, that's it. Ford YT16. See you guys later. Bye.